nominated for the Raphael, I want to enter as a servant sister of the home of the mother. And he said to me, why? So I just told him, because God wants me to. So after that, I called my mom. And my mom it has a character that usually, even before I say something, she already knows what I'm going to say and then she will tell me all the reasons which I why I shouldn't do it or why I should do it. Like, because my mom thinks really quickly and she's also, she's also very practical and like that's her strength. Like, she's very logistical and, and she has helped me a lot to grow in that way. So when I called her and, the f and, and I said, Mom, I'm going to enter here in The Seven Sisters and for the f I think for the first time in my life, she didn't say anything. And that really scared me. It was one minute of silence on the phone and I was like there. And then I heard her cry. Um, and then she passed the phone to my dad. And then my dad said, ha, ah, come back lah, come back first lah, don't make rash decisions. <laughs> um, and I said, no, I'm going to enter here because I know it's what the Lord wants from me. And so in those days, I was really worried for my mom actually because I was afraid that she would be very, very, very angry with God. And, and so my friend, she gave me um, her rosary to pray for my mom. And the rosary was made of rose beads. And my mom's name is Rose. So I would pray the rosary and for my mom. Um, and and one of the, one of the, in one of the car rides that we were going out, um, I was in the car and then this song suddenly played in the car and it really helped me a lot. This song is, um, it goes like this. It's in Spanish, but I'll translate it for you later. It was a really beautiful song. It says, um, Vamos a quemar las rosas Vamos a castar la vida Vamos a quemar las rosas En honor a la verdad that's the chorus, which means, let's go burn the roses. Let's waste our lives in honour of the truth. And that helped me on two levels, which is like the first level is that I knew that I was giving my life to God even though my intellect was a little bit darkened. And the sec on the second level it was that I knew that I was really, really burning my mom, really, because I knew she was in a lot of pain. But the Lord kind of told me that this is not the pain of death is the pain of purification and and I want to make her a gold like golden and like in and gold has to be tested in fire. I was really happy and so that gave me a lot of comfort on that level. So the examples of the saints always helped me. That Saint Catherine of Siena when someone asked her like don't you worry about your parents and she said if if I'm taking care of God's things, God will take care of my things. And to have faith in that, you know what I mean? It's like, to really have faith in that. Being in the home of the mother is, is knowing that she's always with me. In, in the moment when I receive Jesus, when I'm with my sisters, when I'm working in the garden, when I'm in the when I work in the in the printer, printing the magazines, and knowing that she's always with me and that she and that this is her home and that and that makes me very happy and gives me a lot of peace. And that I know that with how with when she's with me I can I can console Jesus because I can't console Jesus with my merits. And, but, but with her merits and being in her home, I can, I can make him happy. And that makes me very happy too. On the 2nd of July, if God wants, I will, I will make my temporal vows. And that means that I will enter into a greater intimacy with, with, with Jesus who, who wants to be my spouse.